snowing out here yet again. And it's actually, we're getting quite a bit of snow. We've gotten probably six inches at least so far, and it's supposed to keep snowing most of the day today. So today, our elves, Rosie and Ralphie, showed up with a ton of supplies to make candy houses so that they have a place to stay when they come every night to visit us um, from now until Christmas. So that is what our plans are today. We're going to be making some gingerbread candy houses. And Alyssa's actually already prepped the baking supplies over there. So we're going to get started and make these gingerbread houses. Well, we're just going to use the Betty Crocker gingerbread cake and cookie mix for our um, gingerbread houses and we're gonna do the on the back of the box there's an option to do cookies which I've actually used this before and I prefer it it's easier um, than making everything by scratch so we're gonna make the cookie version and we're gonna roll those cookies Rosie and Ralphie the elf brought this gingerbread house kit and it's a cookie cutter kit and um, so we're gonna use this to cut out our pieces for our gingerbread houses so Mm -hmm. So we rolled out the dough and we're just cutting out the square pieces for the gingerbread house first. I think we need four we need four of these squares for each house, right? Mm -hmm. So we need eight. We're gonna do three houses, then we need twelve squares. Um, I'm just using a lot of flour with this, and I'm making sure my uh, rolling pin is floured really well. So now we've got all of our sides already in the oven, so now we're going to be working on the corner pieces, or the, the front and back. Front and back. So we need four of these. Yep. We need two for each house. So the gingerbread houses are out of the oven. I actually have just one more batch of these square walls that are still in the oven. But everything is out kind of cooling. And right now I'm making some icing to hold it together. And this is just really simple. It's just confectioner sugar. And I'm actually using a little bit of coffee creamer just to kind of um, use that as my like base. And I just put a little bit in at a time and mix it until I get it to the consistency um, that I want. And that's kind of like a, a soft frosting consistency. Um, and that will hold, that will be used to hold all of my walls together. Now that this um, piping or the glue that's gonna hold our house together is at the right consistency, which it's really kind of like a thick, like frosting consistency. We're gonna put it in a Ziploc bag just like this and we're gonna use this as our piping bag and we'll clip the end um, so that way we can just squeeze it and it will come out the end. So I'm actually using a cookie scoop for this because that way it's easy to scoop it into the bag. So now it's sealed and now we can just clip one of these little ends as soon as we're ready to start frosting our candy houses. So a little snow update here. We're looking at my front door and I think we've got about six to eight inches. Looks like it. It's hard to tell at my front door. The snow's almost all the way up to the stairs. Yeah. There, you can tell. Maybe we can tell better out back. The snow's up. Uh, it's almost up to the deck. You can see over here. Yeah. We've got a good, I mean, look on top of the grill. 
this is probably a good six or eight inches, I'm thinking, of snow that we've gotten. See my little doggies' footprints <laughs> where they've gone out and gone potty. So we're getting back to our decorating here. We've got our um, house, our gingerbread house pieces all ready to go. And I picked up these little square trays at the dollar store. And so we're going to use these to put our houses on and to build our houses on. So we did two types of frosting, the one that I just showed you, and then we did another one that is a little bit thinner than the first one, a little bit more liquid in it, and that is going to be the one that we're gonna use to cover the roof and to be able to apply all of the candy to. So a thicker one to hold it together, a thinner one to coat the top and to put the candy on. I know we did like a quick view of us putting the houses together before, but we're basically just piping some of this glue frosting. Um, I did some on the bottom first. So let's see, let's do one, let's do one like right here. Okay. I'm gonna hold it, Alyssa's gonna hold that for me. And then we're gonna do a wall and we're gonna do the base of the wall. And then we're gonna do the inside side of the wall and we're going to just hold that against the first piece that we have and we're going to do another wall do the base and then the inside that together and we'll do our back piece we'll do the bottom and then on this one we want to do the outside walls So there is the four walls of our house. Now we're gonna put the roof pieces on. So I'm actually gonna put the icing for the roof on the house itself first. Just like that. And then I will sit one roof piece on. Kind of hold it there for a second till it sets. This stuff sets pretty quickly this icing, as long as it's thick enough, as long as it's not too thin, it actually sets pretty quickly. Oh yeah, feel that. Yeah. Yep, and we'll do the other side. And when I'm, once I'm done putting these roof pieces on, I'm gonna go in the seams and put some more icing in each of the seams and on the top of the peak of the house, just to kind of give it a little bit more um, hold. Do some like the snow.
see how they're coming along. Here's Alyssa's. Hers is looking super cute. Little Christmas tree in the front. I like that. Here's the one that I'm doing for Jameson. He's napping right now, so I made him one. So here are the final gingerbread candy houses, and we've got our little elf sitting with them for the night, and they're all dry, and I think they came out really cute. We had a lot of fun making these today. And so I also did another DIY video today, which was the foyer wall art. It's the Dollar Tree DIY using the Dollar Tree frames. So that video will be up probably tomorrow morning. So be on the lookout for that. But for now, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will have more videos coming up before the holidays. Have a great night, guys.